today I'm going to make a baked lemon pepper silky chicken. So yesterday what I did was I took my silky chicken and I made a marinade mix. I have onion in here, I have some lime, I put lemon pepper seasoning on here, I put some parsley on here, and some Mediterranean sea salt in here, and I let it sit with this roast, I mean with this simple garlic overnight in the refrigerator. And today we are going to cook it up. Silky chicken. So the silky chicken that I let marinate overnight is what we're going to roast today. I don't know if you're familiar with a silky chicken. We raise silky chickens. Um, and silky chickens actually have black skin. So this is a black skin silky chicken. And this is what I am going to uh, roast today. I had it sitting inside of um, this plastic bag with my marinade I mixed which had some parsley in it, lime, fresh garlic, lemon pepper seasoning, and some Himalayan salt. First off, I'm gonna put this onion inside this chicken. One thing about a silky chicken is that it does not have a lot of fat. And because it doesn't have a lot of fat, it can dry out. So I am putting this lemon inside of this ch chicken to help keep it moist inside. And then you'll see how I arrange the baking pan. But I'm going to have limes and lemons inside the pan as it cooks. I'm just taking um, everything that I use for the marinade and I'm actually putting that in the uh, over the chicken right now. The, the garlic, uh, the olive oil, the lemon pepper seasoning, and the parsley. So I have the ch chicken inside the pan. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bake it inside my cast iron pan. Um, I'm going to put it on a bed of limes and lemons. And this is going to actually sit on those limes and lemons. The pan is pre-oiled. I oiled it up with some olive oil. And I'm just going to now make a bed of lemons to sit the chicken on. So next... I'm just going to add a couple of more garlic cloves to it. And just put these in the pan hole. I have about five in there that it uh, marinated uh, with overnight. And I'm just adding a couple more pieces in here. And I'm going to season it up with a little bit more lemon pepper. Wrap it with the foil and into the oven. So my chicken marinated, like I said, overnight. I put a little bit of um, rosemary over the chicken now. And also some uh, jalapeno Mediterranean sea salt again. And this is what actually is going to be uh, the last season is I'm going to put on there and it's going to go in the oven, wrapped in foil. So like I said, I just wrapped this uh, silky chicken in the foil. I just turned the oven on to 350 and I will put it in the oven cold and let it cook as the temperature rises. So I'm going to prepare my string beans and what I'm going to do is I am going to just make some saute string beans uh, with some pearl onions just to accompany the silky chicken. And I'm just going to add some sweet baby peppers to the string beans and pearl onions. So I'm going to saute the string beans, sweet baby red peppers, and the pearl onions, and olive oil, butter, some herb of providence, and some Himalayan salt. So 
So today's meal is going to be silky chicken. A lot of people call it black skin chicken, um, but it's a silky chicken, which is a bantam, which is a smaller chicken. It doesn't have a lot of fat content in there. Um, and it has a little bit of a gamey uh, texture to it. But this is what we're gonna have today. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you the inside of the chicken. So not only in the, the skin isn't the only thing that has a darker coloration, but the meat also is dark. It's almost like a, a black meat. You can see it in there. So let's see what we have. Not a lot of uh, meat, but the way I cooked it, it is very, it feels very tender. It's a little stringy. It does have a gamey taste to it. Not a lot of fat, so you don't you don't have a lot of fat in there. I mean, it has a gamey, a little bit more of a gamey wild taste to it. Um, I do like quail and pheasant a lot, and I would say it has um, more of a taste to a wild fowl, like a, like a pheasant or a game bird. It does not have the taste of a Purdue chicken, that's for sure. I will definitely actually do it again. And this has been another episode of The Dreaded Fisherman. Thank you and please subscribe.